Southern Woods and Waters TV That's where you want to be Foggy mornings in the field From the creek with the rotten reel Doing what we love in Tennessee Patriot Demolition presents Southern Woods and Waters With Hugh McNaughton and Brandon Dowdy Also being brought to you by Sniper Hunting Products Deer 30 Minerals Candy Fork Outdoors West Stone Cry Like Realtors TWRA Capital Sportsman Nashville Marine Davidson Farmers Co-op Courtney's Restaurant and Catering Mowing and More CVA Wilson Bank and Trust Flowers Processing Garden Center X Out Odor Products And Hunter Up Welcome everyone. I'm Hugh McNaughton. And I'm Brandon Dowdy. And we are Southern Woods and Waters. I tell you what, we, we got a pretty decent good show for everybody. We do. We, we got just, a few things. We're we, just gonna have a good time tonight. We we're got a lot of information we need to get out. We do we got some got some information to get out. We got some fishing to talk about, some preseason yep. uh, hunting things to cover. Yeah. Uh, we've got to open the phone lines for, for everybody a couple times, so it, it, we'll have a good time tonight. It's going to be a roundabout good informational show for you tonight. It is just Brandon and I, along with... We do have, we have one, a birthday girl. one birthday girl special guest with us tonight. I'm telling uh, you. we got got Emery here with us tonight. <laughs> She's going to be kind of joining in the conversation sure. with us. and um, You know, been doing a little fishing lately and stuff like that, and she's, she's really enjoyed it. So she, uh, we're going to... And, you know, because... Kids, 15 and under, get to fish all next week that's right. without a license. That's right. And, all and so next that's what week. we're here to uh, <laughs> to tell people about tonight. Actually, that's one that's of the right. main things that's we want right. to talk about is that it is a great time to get these kids out there and fish or bite, get them on the water, fish or biting, and um, you know it's it's a week to try it out, kind of uh, test and the I, waters. <laughs> so and, and you know we got some storms coming in here in Middle Tennessee uh, Saturday, well all across Tennessee. Yeah, right? starting tomorrow it looks like. Yeah, starting tomorrow. So I, I, I feel like some people might get rained out, but don't let it get you down. If you get if you get a, a two hour window, man, go fishing. Go to the water. Go to the water, because uh, when you when that rain's hitting the the water, it's like ringing the dinner bell it is and and as soon as it quits some catfish will be on fire you you want to catch a catfish that's a good time to do it they will be done and i promise you that it'll be a lot of fun for kids they love it yeah uh anything to catch their attention you get on a big bluegill bed or a catfish bed yeah. where they're coming up oh it, and there's been be a, a lot of catfish stocked um this week and they're working on some already yeah. for this week coming up with the kids and well, uh, TWRA, if you TWRA go to their website, doing, yeah. tnwildlife.org, go to tnwildlife.org, uh, on their website, it's a whole list of things yeah. uh, of kids' ponds and, and rodeo ponds and catfish ponds where kids are allowed to come and they even got uh, contests. Yeah, and there's so, several that they're not, once they put them in there, they're not going to allow any fishing until these kids get in there fishing right. for a week and then they're going to allow adults come back in right. so it's it's going to be an exciting it's time it's going to be an exciting time if you're 15 years of age or younger <laughs> it's, it's yeah. your time <laughs> it is well it's, i tell you it's exciting for us too i mean yeah. you know how it is now i i'm i'm probably twice as excited to watch her oh, yeah. hang into a big fish as i am catch it myself now so. well let's don't leave out Nealon now because Nealon's coming hey, on he's pretty. coming on up and he uh he was getting in on the action at real foot and uh <laughs> he's he's coming right along with his, he's coming his on, fishing brother. skills <laughs> yeah <laughs> We can get him out, the, out of the sleepy stage sometimes. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> We're trying to yeah. get him to fish. But yeah. he is fishing with his own fishing pole. You're trying, oh, to, yeah. you're trying to teach him yeah. now, aren't you? Now you're starting to work on a spinning reel now, aren't you? Yeah. She worked into a spinning reel now. She, That's awesome. She wants to... Uh, to get into that, so actually no the whole time we were on that rods. trip, she, yeah, no more. No more She, she was ready to hand it down to little brother and, <laughs> and get into the spinning rig. for so. a little while, that's yep. right. So she's done well with that. Hey, just to, just to start it off, we might as well be talking about it anyway, and that is uh, June 8th, which is Saturday, yep. is free fishing day across the state of Tennessee. Um, anybody, does not matter, from zero to 100, 
You can fish for free. Don't even worry about Mr. Green Jeans at all. He'll leave you alone. He'll leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to take the day off. He's going to take the know. day off, and he needs a rest. He does. <laughs> he needs a rest. Uh, so he's going to take the day off, and, and uh, you know, hopefully uh, uh, you can get out there and have yourself a fantastic time. Please remember what it's about, though. It's about fishing. It's about getting more people involved in fishing. That's the whole uh, uh, purpose for this day, for Free Fishing Day, is to let people feel, uh, you know, what others feel. I mean, they, a lot it's, of people don't know what we know. It's a good chance to get them involved. And Sorry. a lot of times you'll ask somebody and they'll say, well, I don't have a license. So Here's this your is your excuse chance. Excuse is gone. Yep, this is your chance to say, you know what, come with me Saturday and, and you'll probably buy one after that. You know? I'm going to tell you something. i got to give a big shout out to a couple of guys. Uh, Sam Lashley uh, out there at Kentucky Lake. Um, he's a stick when it comes to Kentucky Lake. But Sam and I have been friends for a long, long time. And Sam puts up some of the most beautiful sunrises on Kentucky Lake that you've ever laid your eyes on. And he said, if nothing else, this is why I get up early in the morning to go fishing, yeah. is to see these. And then the other one I want to give you a big shout out to is Mike Hayes, that owns Blue Bank Resort. The real foot has some of the prettiest sunsets I've ever some seen. Some of the prettiest ones you ever saw. Oh my stars. From right there at Blue Bank, man, it's, it's Right unreal. there at Blue Bank Resort. So those two guys, are blessed because yeah. they get to see sunrise and sunsets that only God can paint. And yeah. uh, I'm going to tell you something. That's the reason you and I get up early. It That's is. the reason we go and stay out there and we beat the traffic. We beat the frogs up. We beat the crickets yeah. up. We beat everybody up yeah. just to see those kind of things. And, uh, you know, you need to get out there and see for yourself. And I promise you, you will not regret it. No, no. It's a good opportunity to do it. It's you know. awesome. And, and, and the, the thing I like about this free fishing day is, is, like you said, no more excuses. You don't have to go buy a license. Get out there. You might have to buy a, a little deal of crickets or, you know, maybe some <laughs> yeah. wiggle, wiggler worms. That, that's her. She likes we crickets, really wax need worms. Us to catch you, do you like the worms? And wax worms. Oh, they feel so good. <laughs> yeah. She uh, she got to baiting those wax worms and, and got a, got a good feel for them. Which is dangerous. So you like wax worms? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. When I put one on the hook, it kind of dripped. It dripped? <laughs> <laughs> they caught bluegill, though. I tell you what. I they didn't catch bluegill. any fish. Not with that one you didn't, did you? Well, I did catch another. Well, I did <laughs> catch one fish in the middle of the night. Raining. Well, yep, Do you like uh, night crawlers? Worms? Do you so, like yeah. We like night crawlers, don't we? Night crawlers. I mean, do you has, put them on your hook, or you just cricket on them? I've never put a cricket or worm <laughs> she, on a hook. She hasn't done a cricket or worm. worm. She she'll do a wax worm. That's her bait of choice. Okay. Put on the hook. So not done a cricket yet. I almost catch the fish though. <laughs> she, but uh, I think uh, there's nothing like it though. We were there. We were all there at Real Foot when you went, and you had a blast. But we instead we saw a big, huge snake. Mm -hmm. on that one. There's a couple of snakes there. There's two or four down there. And it? what the coolest And is? we get to see that in a couple of weeks because we you helped me, you helped me uh, net a and bunch we, of fish. And we saw eagles on nesters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. eagles. eagles and ospreys. Mm -hmm. Ospreys. We saw a bunch of them, didn't and, we? And so you notice that most of the things you're talking about aren't catching a fish, are they? Mm. <laughs> it's everything else. We had a good time, you know. Well, we talked about the about. fish, but, we, but a lot of we what they were going to remember is not catching that fish, you know. We went to a pool with like a water fountain. The water came into the pool, like a waterfall coming yeah. into the oh, pool. So, okay, so Mike Hayes has a beautiful pool yeah. at Blue Bank. The Blue Bank that you can it go was pretty get fun, in, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, we got to do our wild game tell forecast. Tell you what, it's time to do this week's wild game forecast, and it's being sponsored by our good friends over at Wilson Bank and Trust. You can go see them at over 28 locations right here in Middle Tennessee, and be sure to tell them thank you for all they do for us here at the show. That's right. And, you know, the wild game forecast, uh, bucks are... Uh, they're starting they're to grow. putting on that velvet starting now, Starting to brother. get some pictures of some decent, yeah. um, some velvet deer. It's a good time to have your uh, camera set up on a mineral site. And mm -hmm. uh, or at least a, a very good crossing or something because mm -hmm. uh, it's inventory time. It's That's inventory. what I call That's it right. right now. It's inventory time. Try to find out what you got. This is who makes the list and who doesn't. That's right. That's, you know, that's, that's exactly, exactly what, what it is in the month of June and July. <laughs> June and July. And remember now they'll have the harvest moon 
will be in the latter part of July, first part of August, and then will grow up to eight inches of antler during that one moon yep. phase. So uh, whatever you got now doesn't necessarily mean that's what he's going to end up looking like. I don't know. If he's but looking good right now, you probably, you, he's, he's he's probably going to you be know, a good one. Yep. All this um, buck stuff is making me hungry at the meat of it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Uh, but now the fishing's great, too. Man, fishing is great. We've, we've had several good days catfishing the last few weeks. Uh, my dad and I. And a, and a friend went this past week, had another really good day, and see a picture from that here in a little while, yeah. uh, pop off some of those. But, uh, the, you know, early in the mornings, they've been, look for them four to seven foot of water. Yeah. Um, as the morning progresses and the heat comes up, it's almost like, yeah, they just, they, they have been gradually moving out. Yep. And by the time, you know, we're out of there, we're catching them 12 to 15 foot of water. But th they are definitely biting right now. If you've got a night crawler and, uh, and a good rock bank, you can well, I've got on. news for you. This this rain that's coming mm -hmm. is going to draw those fish even in shallower, I promise you, because this rain here is supposed to be a good one. So you'll see insects will be popping yep. out of the ground. They're going to be washed down to the lake shore or the river bank or whatever. Those fish are going to be up shallow looking for that long night crawler or a cricket or a grasshopper. They're going to be looking for them. So this is a great time to get shallow. If you can stay in the rain, put your own rain suit and then go out there yeah, and get fish. After. That's right. I'm telling you. Guys, we want to remind you to follow us on our Facebook page. Keep up with us there. Uh, we try to give you a lot of tips and tactics on there and uh, different giveaways, things like that, that you won't get to catch on the show all the time. So be sure to give us a like and a follow. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with some more Southern Woods and Waters.